Welcome to the presentation on mechanical systems. This is part one out of six slides that I will be using to go over this unit. It covers the grade 8 Alberta curriculum. Here's a concept map showing all of the materials that will be covered in this unit. We have simple machines, we have machines from the past, types of levers, the simple machines, wedge screws, pulleys, wheels and axles, as well as things like efficiency, safety, environmental impact. A machine helps us do work. Machines help people use energy more efficiently. The earliest machines were simple devices to make work easier, like moving a large rock or moving a load up an incline, splitting wood or lifting materials up to a working area above the ground. These simple machines depended on people or animals as their source of energy. Machines were also built to satisfy basic human needs, such as getting water. Three devices used to get water in early times included a Persian wheel, which is right here, an aqueduct, and Ar an Archimedes screw. Many of the machines that we take for granted were either discovered or refined during the Middle Ages. The wheelbarrow, spectacles, or glasses, the flying buttress, and the use of water power to run hammers are just a few. Castles were stormed using var various machines, including the trebuchet, which threw heavy stones a great distance or into the walls of a castle. And see, here you have a trebuchet here. As time passed, people expected more and more difficult tasks to be completed by machines. Machines became more complex. Power sources had to be developed to run these complex machines. Over the past two centuries, coal, oil, and electricity powered complicated machines were developed to do work in large factories. The Industrial Revolution used these large complicated machines to mass produce goods for use by consumers. So here's a picture of an Industrial Revolution era factory. There's a picture of a steam locomotive. The steam engine moved these goods across countries in a very short time, giving people more and better access to food, clothing, tools, and raw materials than previously. The standard of living had improved. The continual development of new technologies has led to our virtual dependence on machines. A simple machine is a tool or device made up of one basic machine. There are six types of basic machines. The first type is a lever. A lever is a rigid bar or plank that can rotate around a fixed point called a pivot or fulcrum. Levers are used to reduce the force needed to do a particular task. As you move a very large load, as you can move a very large load, but you must move a greater distance than the load moves. So you have to move more than the thing that you're moving. There are three classes of levers. There's a first class lever where the pivot point or the fulcrum is in the middle. There's a second and then the effort is on one side and the load is on the other. There's a second class lever like a wheelbarrow where the pivot point is at the end, the load is in the middle and the effort is at the end. A third class lever, things like your a hammer or your arm, have the load at one end, the effort in the middle and the pivot point at the end. You can use a pry bar as all three classes of levers, depending on how you use it. A winch consists of a small cylinder that has a crank or handle. The axle of the winch acts as a fulcrum. The handle is the effort arm. By exerting a force on the handle to turn the wheel, the cable is retracting the load. Because the handle is, no, is longer than the radius of the wheel, the effort force is smaller than the load, making it act like a small lever over and over again. Here's an example of a winch. Here you have the lever, here you have the wheel and axle. An inclined plane or a ramp makes it easier to move a load 
high, higher than it is, but it has to be moved over a much longer distance. An inclined plane makes it possible to lift heavy objects using a smaller force. Examples of this are loading ramps and wheelchair access ramps. So here is the inclined plane. Here's the distance that you move the object. Here's the height that it moves. And you'll notice that this hypotenuse of this triangle here is a lot longer than the distance. A wedge is similar in shape to an inclined plane, but it can be used in a different way, and it can only be used in one direction. It is forced into an object to split it apart. Wedges increase the force applied to an object, but it moves a greater distance into the object. Then it splits apart. So an example of a wedge is an axe or a knife. Here is a picture of a wedge. You can see that the wedge is being forced into this block. A screw is a cylinder with a groove cut into a spiral on the outside. It is actually an inclined plane that winds around itself. It helps you increase the force that you use. It can be used to convert rotational or turning motion into linear motion or movement in a straight line. It moves objects in a straight way very slowly. Examples include jar lids, light bulbs, and spiral staircases. Here's an example of a screw, and this is what we would traditionally call a screw in building. A pulley consists of a wire, rope, or cable moving at, on a grooved wheel. One or more combinations of wheels and ropes can be fixed in place or movable. Pulleys can help you lift larger loads. A system of fixed and movable pulleys that work together is called a block and tackle. So here's a fixed pulley. The, the pulley is at the top and it's attached. This is a movable pulley. The rope is attached to the top but the pulley moves up and down. A, this is a block and tackle system. You have a system of fixed here and movable pulleys here that work to lift the load. A wheel and axle is a combination of two wheels of different diameters that turn together. A lever that rotates in a circle around a center point or fulcrum. A longer motion on the wheel produces a more powerful motion on the axle. So a doorknob is an example of a wheel and axle. The turning of the handle creates a much bigger turning of the, uh, the handle here. They can be used to increase the size of the force, steering the wheel of a car, or in the case of bicycle wheels, increase the speed. Simple machines can include the, um, the pulleys to raise a flag on a flagpole. The force multiplying power of a screwdriver, a screwdriver is a lever. Increase or decreasing speed, so again scissors are also levers. Or transferring force, removing staples, this is again a lever.